Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing and testing diamond painting release paper from Diamond Art Club. So if you're new to diamond painting, uh, you may be wondering what is release paper? And you may also be wondering, do I need release paper? Now, I can answer the first one, but the second one is up to you. So this is a Diamond Art Club's release paper. I'll just uh, have a look at this first before we start talking about what release paper actually is. Um, comes in this package, sealed, has the, the fancy holographic stuff that looks like it's moving. It's pretty cool. Um, so Diamond Art Club <coughs> are one of the, the best known uh, diamond uh, painting companies. Um, if, when you go on the internet, I am sure you will stumble across the words Diamond Art Club. Um, if you start looking in the diamond painting forums and groups, I'm pretty sure their name will get mentioned a lot. They have been going, I think, for about four years, I think. I should have checked that before I started this, but I think it's about four years. And uh, they have always been known as a company who produce very high quality uh, products. Um, their canvases are very different from any other company and they now actually manufacture their own diamond painting drills. So if you haven't heard of them, <coughs> I would definitely suggest you, you have a look uh, at diamondartclub.com. Um, also, I have to say that uh, this is not sponsored or anything. I, I did buy this. Um, I haven't been talking to Diamond Art Club, but um, they're definitely worth a look if you're looking for uh, really nice diamond paintings. So for a long time, they've been doing uh, diamond paintings and then they brought out release paper. So I thought it was about time that I had a look at it because I actually use release paper all the time. Um, so we'll have a look in the back and here it says how to use. One, peel off the original covering of your diamond painting. Two, apply the bottom of the release paper down onto the adhesive section of the diamond painting. And then in brackets, the bottom section of the release paper is the side that does not include a logo. Three, uh, use as many sheets as needed to cover your artwork in the areas desired. And we have 200 pre-cut sheets. They are 5.7 inches by 7.9 inches. Or if you use metric, it's 14.5 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So... 14.5 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So we'll open up, that's it, nothing much else really to say about that. Um, I don't know if I can actually manage to rip this, I don't think so. The blunt scissors make them in handy. Hopefully I can. If I can just get a little start on it. You know what it's like this stuff. Um, I'll actually talk about this in a minute, once I get this open, okay, I've got it, the scissors did their job. So, release paper, a lot of people use it, a lot of people don't, as I said, it's going to be a personal preference, but I can show you how to use it, or how I use it, um, I can show you ways that other people use it and it's really up to you what you think if it's going to suit you so <clears throat> we'll have a look at the actual paper first so in a little box and I wasn't expecting it to be sealed like that but it is. Sealed again and another cellophane bag. This one looks like it might be resealable. It is. So a little uh, glue strip there and we'll take out 
and have a first look at, or my first look uh, at Diamond Art Club release paper. So this is it, we have the Diamond Art Club logo uh, on the top, Diamond Art Club do what makes you sparkle, on the back or the bottom we have this shiny coating. Now if you look at this side it doesn't have it and you look at this side it does have it. So that is important. It means that this is what they call single sided release paper. You can get release paper that is double sided which means it is shiny on both sides and it is a very very important thing to know about. If you put the shiny side down on the glue you will be able to peel it back off. If you put the dull side down, the side with the writing, on the glue it is probably going to stick. And we will find out in this video what happens if you put it the wrong way up. So <clears throat> obviously we need a diamond painting so I just happen to have a brand new diamond painting underneath here. So this is going to be the test subject. Now I was saying about the cellophane on the box. Um, you know how you get the cellophane and you get it on multi-packs of gum, cigarette packets, that sort of thing. And if you tear it, it doesn't tear in a straight line, it just sort of goes where it likes. This stuff does the same sort of thing if you try and cut it. This is a uh, poured glue, this diamond painting, and it comes with this clear, I'll call it cellophane, it's, I don't know exactly what it is, but um, as far as I'm concerned it's cellophane. It's thin and if you get a pair of scissors and try and cut it in a straight line, it will start to go wherever it wants and it's really, really hard if not impossible to cut in straight lines. So what people do is they use masking tape or washi tape but this sort of thing and what they do is they section it so they'll put this across and they'll do like grids so they'll, they'll put this and then step it up and step up to the top and then do it this way so you end up with a grid pattern. And the reason they do that is when you go to cut a square. So what you do is basically you guess at what sort of size you would normally work. Um, the less exposed glue you've got the better. Uh, there's no point opening the whole thing this size. Um, that would take hours to do so you've got the glues just sitting there waiting on pet hairs and dust and crumbs or whatever landing on it and sticking. So it's a good idea to work in smaller sections at a time. It keeps everything nice and clean. So just as an example, um, I would probably work a section roughly this sort of size, so I'll just do this. I'm not going to um, actually set the whole thing up and do it, but maybe as an example, that sort of size. For me anyway, that, that would that'd be an okay size, quite small, so there's a good chance I'm going to get it finished in one session so I would, again I would just uh, I mean if you want to be exact you could measure them but I wouldn't really bother about them. So if you imagine the whole thing is, is a grid pattern like this so then what you do is you peel up your cellophane and cut so this stops the cellophane from tearing at weird angles. So you can see it's a straight line. You need to also pull it further along to get that, but you get the idea. So you would cut up here, cut up to there, and then you can fold this back, or you could even decide to do a small section like that. And if you don't have much time, just a small area, you just want to get a little bit done, 
you don't get it finished, you have to make dinner, you have to go to work, you have to go to school, whatever, go for groceries, laundry, whatever. Um, and you've still got glue left, you can just fold this back again and it'll stick on the glue and keep it nice and clean, stop anything sticking. Once this is finished, um, you can cut the whole square and have it complete. It won't be sticky anymore, so the cellophane won't stick to it. Um, but you could keep it just as a long strip and lay it back down again, again just to protect uh, the drills from dust and hair and things getting in between. What I do is use table placemats, that's what these things are. So I would just get a table placemat, like the one I just took off. When it was finished, if I hadn't finished the section, I would put this back down, stick it back down, and then I would cover it over. It's just an extra protection. If this section was complete, I wouldn't bother trying to put the cellophane back on top, it won't stick. Um, I would just put the table mat on top and that keeps the drills nice and clean. So that's how I would do it. Um, but <coughs> rather than doing it like this, I use a uh, release paper. So what I would do is actually take the whole cover off. So all of this cover would come off. And I'll need to move some stuff here. and get some space. So this one, actually the cover is in two sections. Uh, there's a join here. Most of the time it'll be one big sheet. So I would remove this completely. But because of the space, what I'll do is I'll just fold it back to here. And if you just imagine that I've taken um, the cover off the whole canvas. Then what I would do is I would get my release paper and because I start in the bottom right hand corner of the diamond painting, I would start placing this up in the top left. Now, it's far too big to show but I do have a video where um, I set up a big canvas and I show how I do it. I'll put a link in the description. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is, I can't even see the join um, because this is the cellophane, so it's not sticky. This is no cellophane, so it's very sticky. So that's why I was saying you don't want a huge area open because it's just asking for stuff to stick to it. So I would start up, in the, if you imagine the, the big thing all the way up there, it's quite a big diamond painting. Um, I would start put placing them there, but just to give you a quick idea of how these things work, I'll actually peel this other one up just to give myself. This release paper is actually pretty big. Um, a lot of times, release paper is probably about half that size. So I need a bit more space. So I'll peel the whole thing back, and that way, all that we can see is sticky. So what I would do is, if this was the size of my diamond painting, these, these release papers are huge, um, I would start over here. I'll just do it at the height of the, the release paper, I think. So I make sure at the bottom it is off the glue so I can pick it up. So I would have that there and the bottom is off the glue. If it's on the glue, um, you're going to find it really hard to try and pick up. So make sure it's off the glue. Normally this would be the edge, so I would also be overlapping um, at the side, but because this is so wide, I just want to do this very small section to give you an idea. So I would have that, and then I need another one. Oops. The problem that I've got is I'm on a slanted table and things tend to want to slide to the bottom, especially when they're in the cellophane bag. So that one would be there. I would overlap it slightly and get it lined up. Again, it's up to you how accurate you want it. You may want to make sure it's perfectly in line. 
so you get nice even squares or rectangles. I don't really bother too much. If it's soft slightly, I just step it back and then fill the gap in when I do the next one. So you can see I've got an overlap, that's so I can fold it and pick it up. If I didn't do that, I'd be trying to pick it off the glue, like this corner. Um, it's really fiddly to try and get your nail under it. So always make sure you've got an overlap. So it's going off the glue at the bottom, it's going off the glue here. So nice and easy to peel back. And then we need another one. I'll take two because I'm going to need two. Um, so we've got an overlap again. Now we've got a thin strip, but we still have to cover it. So I would just make sure that I go past the edge. And basically that would be it. But if you imagine that I started up here in the left hand corner and worked across and down until I get here, because this is where I start. So putting them down in reverse order means when I go to start diamond painting, I just peel up the first one, take it off, and I'm ready to start this section. So I would fill up this section until it was complete, then I would remove this section. Do that section, then on to the next section, then on to the next section. And then once I got to the end, I would go up and start the next row and up and start the next row. If it's a big diamond painting, I would turn the diamond painting around and do it, the same thing. So um, that's the way that I work. I don't have any of that. I, I hate this stuff. Um, I don't like to see the diamond painting when I'm working on it. I like it to be covered. Um, and what I do is I would have the release paper down and I would have these mats covering the release paper. So all I would have is the exposed area that I'm working on and that's all that I can see of the actual picture. And that's the way that I work it. Now, I mentioned about single-sided and double-sided. Now, it does say on the instructions, um, it is on the, the bag, or the, sorry, the box, it's not a bag. So it does say on the box, apply the bottom of the release paper down onto the adhesive section of the diamond painting. The bottom section of the release paper is the side that does not include a logo. That is very, very important. So we have the logo side, and we have the shiny side. So you've already seen me take it off. Um, comes off very easily, no problems. Again, I'm making sure it goes off the edge so I get this little piece to pick it up. Don't put it flat on the glue because it's really awkward to try and get uh, the corner and then you're going to sort of uh, damage the, the edge trying to pick it up. You'll get little creases and stuff. So I'll just do this again just quickly okay so we've got a release paper and comes off really easily no problems at all doesn't stick to the glue now the question is what happens if you put it the wrong way so we'll just say for example you're setting up your diamond painting and you are trying to get it set up and the kids are running riot you're trying to stop the kids pulling the cat's tail or whatever the phone goes you get distracted and you put the release paper down the wrong way so we're going to do it so now we've got one the wrong way one the right way one the right way So now we're all set up and we're ready to go. We peel this off, we fill this section, it's fine. Then we go to the next section. Uh, uh, maybe not so fine. I am pulling very hard to get that to come up. Mm. 
you can probably hear it. I have a lot of tension on this now. You can see the canvas is actually going to increase. You do not want to do that. This is the sheet that I just took off. This is another sheet that I just took off. You can see they're still relatively flat. This is the one that I put on the wrong way. You could try and put it back again. It's really awkward because it's trying to roll up really badly. So we'll try it. So we managed to get it flat and we'll peel it off. No problem. This time I'm going to put the whole sheet on the glue. So now we put it down completely wrong. It's all on the well, I've left a tiny tiny bit so I can pick it up. But most of it now is on the glue. So we'll try it again. Now I am pulling very hard to try and get that off. So that's a, uh, a sheet of release paper. The point of doing this is to show how important it is. If you have single sided release paper, do not put the dull side down or this is what's going to happen. Now, I know it says on the box and it explains put the logo up and the shiny side down, which is that that is it that is that's all you have to remember but as i said if you're distracted or you're tired or you're you're diamond painting one night and you're you're diamond painting at two o'clock in the morning and you're thinking okay i'm just going to finish this color and then i'm going to bed everybody's been there and you have to go up at five o'clock you're going to be tired you're going to be in a hurry you'll grab your release paper there's a chance that you're going to put it down wrong or if you've got kids and they decide they're going to help and they start sticking down the release paper, the chances are they're going to get some wrong, especially if you're not there. So the thing is you get single sided and double sided release paper. Diamond Art Club, for whatever reason, have chosen to do single sided. Um, I've got some double sided here just to show the difference. This is uh, some release paper that I bought from Amazon and um, I actually did uh, an unboxing of it. I'll put a link in the description, you can have a look at that as well. So you can see the release paper from Amazon is, is a lot smaller, um, which actually suits me because I, I don't like big open areas, but you do have the option to, if you wanted, you could cut the big sheets in half. If you want to sit and cut 200 sheets in half and try and get them straight. Um, the thing is you, you don't have to place them like that though. You can make the sections smaller by... Uh, I mean it's not necessarily a bad thing. You could say right okay I want to work... Say we'll go very small. Um, you could wor work it like that and that and do that little stamp and then move this up and do another one, move this up and do another one. There's various ways you can do it. You don't have to use the whole area underneath the paper. You do have 200 sheets so um, you, you can adjust the size just by the way you place them. Um, the smaller ones, I wouldn't really think about adjusting the size because to me they're, they're a nice size for me. So if we take the Diamond Art Club ones off 
and we take some of the Amazon ones so again same thing except I'll get more on make sure because I'm not going to the edge I have to make sure the bottom is uh, going off the glue so I can pick it up so we'll do one two three four not very straight but it doesn't matter so there we've got four so if I take them off one two three four so I'll put one back the way it was I'll turn one over and put it down I'll put one the way it was I'll turn one over and put it down and then I'll try and take them off one two three four so you can see these are shiny on both sides so this is double sided release paper to for me I would always go for double sided because things happen and I know it's got the print on it and it's very simple if you can see the print um, it's, it's going to come off if you can't you're in trouble uh, you don't have to think about it with this um, say the kids are playing with it and just throw it on the, the glue you can just pick it up it says here with one totally stuck so because here it's all on the glue so I need to try and get my nail underneath a corner in fact I'm going to try that with the diamond art club as well thinking about it it wasn't that difficult to get it and it came off really easy so I think we'll try trying to keep things as, as fair as possible um, I'll use a new one and I'll explain why in a minute <coughs> okay so this is a new one and I'll drop it again all on the glue the proper way make sure it's down and then I'll try and get a corner you definitely need nails for that but I got it and it comes off no problem now I'll put it down as if it's just accidentally fallen or in the case of what happened to my wife um, it wasn't release paper it was the key for the canvas it was an A4 sheet of paper she had it sitting beside her diamond painting we had the window open a gust of wind blew in and her paper uh, key flipped over and landed on the canvas um, which didn't go too well so now we've got the wrong side completely on the canvas and I'm trying to get a corner which is not as easy as it was last time but I've got a corner again I'm ha having to hold the canvas down because you can see it's creasing It's hard to explain how much effort I'm putting into this, but I am pulling on this really hard. So that's what happens when you get it wrong. As I said, I just feel that um, when there's a 50 50 chance there's going to be a percentage of time that somebody for whatever reason gets it wrong and then they're going to have to try and pull it off I'm just checking the stickiness it still feels as sticky the reason that I used another new one is because these ones that I've just used and these are the ones that I put down the correct way are, are like this they're, they're starting to curl up I've only used them what, two or three times um, I'm going to try something if I put the double sided Amazon stuff and next to it I put the Diamond Art Club one and 
I'm going to peel them and put them back and peel them and put them back. I'll say 10 times. I'll try and do it quickly. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that was ten times I did that. I just want to see how much it curls. So that was ten times. The thing about this is if it does start to cur curl a bit, because it's double sided, you can put it down the opposite way and peel it, which counteracts the curve and then it sort of straightens itself out again. So that was ten. We'll do the same with the Diamond Art Club. One. I mean, it comes off really, really easily. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm not even, I'm not pressing it down. I should really do that, but I uh, lost count. I think it was five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. So if we compare them side by side, holding them exactly the same way, look at the top, you can see how this one has hardly moved. The Diamond Art Club one is really badly curling up. Um, when I sat them down at the side there, that's what made me think about that. That they're all all the ones that I sat down at the side are all curled up like that. That would be irritating for me that they all start to curl up. And looking at the bag, if we can get to it, these ones haven't even been taken out of the bag, and they're. I don't know if it shows in the camera, but they're all curling without anything. I haven't touched them. Yeah, that's in the bag. Not being used. I'll just show you the Amazon bag. Move the ones that I took. Yeah. I don't have to worry if I drop them because they won't stick. But this is the Amazon bag. Um, Open it up. That one's just it's just because it's sticking above the rest it looks a bit iffy but they're sitting flat. These haven't been used either. I only bought them actually to do a review because I saw silicon uh, release paper double sided and I just wanted to try it to let people see how good or bad it was. Um, which is exactly the same thing I did with uh, the Diamond Art Club. When I heard that they were doing their own release paper, I was really curious to how, it, how good it was. Um, I'm just very, very surprised that it's single-sided. Um, these are the sheets that I put the wrong way. And as I said, the best will in the world, mistakes happen. And uh, I did put a lot of effort into pulling these sheets off. So, um, as a word of warning, I, I don't understand why Diamond Art Club decided to go for single-sided. Um, is it because they want the logo on the paper? It's, I don't know. Um, can't they make it shiny and have the logo underneath? I, I have no idea. Um, but to me, single-sided release paper is just asking for trouble. Um, I'm surprised how flimsy the paper is as well. It's, it's all curling up. It's even curling up in the bag and it hasn't been used. Um, the release paper that I use, it isn't exactly this one, but it's very similar. Um, I've been using it for, I don't know, a year and a half, I think, maybe even longer. And I use the same, the same sheets again and again and again and again. Stuck my hand to the glue. Um, 
actually uh, as I always say in the videos I don't always say but um, when you see this cover when I'm doing reviews there is always a diamond painting underneath it and there is one I'm just thinking can I get to it where there is release paper I'm totally messing up my table here the, the things I do for science um, right, I'm going to reach underneath I think I'm off No, you can see part of it So You can see that I'm, I'm not cheating um, I'm going to have to move this This genuinely is the diamond painting that I'm working on Sneak peek um, <coughs> But this is, I started in this bottom uh, Right hand corner, I've worked across and across and across now I'm up to here, this is my next section You see just um, There's a little overlap so I can peel The release paper off So that is the section that I'm going to work on next This is the release paper I have. I must have used this hundreds of times um, I use the same sheets again and again and again And I've been using them for I'd need to look up when I did the, the unboxing of this But it's been a while um, I would say definitely over over a year and I've been using them again and again and again and you can see how flat that is I've used them what 10 well say 15 times maybe it's just uh, I'm just surprised that's all I can say so that was uh, Diamond Painting Release Paper from Diamond Art Club I honestly don't know what to say um, Not what I expected at all um, As I said, uh, uh, I have used Diamond Art Club for diamond paintings I have quite a few, I still have uh, quite a few to do And the quality has always been really really good um, I was very surprised um, at the paper um, I was surprised initially I knew it was it was single sided and just that surprised me because um, if you've got double sided release paper you don't have to think you don't have to think at all when you're putting those sheets down is it the right way up has anybody been have the kids been playing with it and mixed it up or are the kids going to pick it up and stick it down or there's just so many things that can go wrong and being tired as well you're diamond painting till late at night you're tired you go to cover up and you stick it the wrong way I mean it's, it's just uh, I don't understand it at all um, I, I'm really surprised at the paper um, I'm sitting looking at the bag uh, a stack of them that ha haven't even been touched and the bag is actually beginning to curl up um, the ones that I had been using and the time it took me to switch to the, the camera position and actually what I did was I checked to see when I started using the double sided release paper I have because I did an unboxing when I received that I received uh, various things at that time and the box weighed six kilos um, so there was a lot in that box and release paper was one of those things so I just searched on the channel 6kg and I found it and that video went up on the 30th of September 2020 and I started using those release papers the day after it so these release papers, that one that I picked up has been constantly in use since September, the end, we'll say, we'll say October so just over two years I've been using that and you can see it hasn't bent, it hasn't went out of shape it's, it looks just the same as it did two years ago and I, I don't doubt that it'll still be the same in another two years the ones that I used um, have curled up even more just in the time that I've set this back up this is one of them now You don't get much more curly than that This is one that I put on the wrong way 
so you do get more curly than that. Uh, you could maybe use it as a Harry Potter wand or something, but it is pretty much useless now. So I, I honestly don't understand it at all um, why Diamond Art Club would do single sided paper that begins to curl um, as soon as you open the bag. I mean, I can show you the bag. I haven't done anything with it, it's just been sitting on the table. But that's. I'm trying to be as fair as I can. I'm, I'm not putting any pressure on it to make it look more bent than it is. I'm just supporting with my fingertips. But you can see how curved that is without any use. Again, I'm, I'm not pushing the sides. That is how it sits. I, I don't understand it at all. Um, this is the most surprised I have ever been with any review that I have done. Um, I've ordered from companies before where I expected to get poor quality and I got poor quality. Um, Diamond Art Club are not a company that I would expect to get poor quality from. Um, I know that I will probably get some people saying but it tells you on the instructions the way that you should put the paper. Uh, why? Just have it double sided and you don't have to think about it. Nobody has to think. That's the whole point. Um, yeah, all I can say is um, Diamond Art Club, I would definitely recommend looking at their website um, and looking at their diamond paintings. They have some just fantastic diamond paintings. The quality is very high. Um, I would definitely recommend them. But when it comes to release paper, I definitely would not recommend it. So that's it. Um, yeah, I'm in shock. So. Yeah, I, I would uh, I would definitely look for double sided release paper. It makes life a lot easier. Um, yeah, I, I can't I can't say anymore. Um, so that is pretty much it. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, I don't think uh, Diamond Art Club will, but if you enjoyed the video, um, I always try and make them as open and honest as possible. Um, there is nothing about this that I could give a positive. Um, at all. So if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, pens, tweezers, whatever, anything to do with diamond painting, please subscribe and hit that notification button. If you do that you may catch me live on YouTube. Um, I do random YouTube lives. Never sure when I'm going to be on uh, or what time, or what day. I don't have set days, I just try and fit in with everything else that happen or is happening in the real world. So uh, if you do subscribe and hit the notification button, you will get a little message uh, when I go live or when I release a new video. And I do have a lot of stuff um, to unbox, unbag and review. Um, so there are going to be quite a few videos coming up and um, I've got my hands on things that I've never seen before. Now whether they've been reviewed, probably they have but I've just never seen the reviews but um, I've got some very interesting stuff. So that's it for today, thanks for watching and in the meantime take care, be safe and wash your hands.